with other materials. I will be making a lamp. The materials we will be needing are glue guns, plastic spoons if you have any, a plastic slash reusable cup, a cutter, but I won't be using this because I already did it. As you can see, I have a hole on the bottom to make the light even clearer. And we will also be needing scissors and some glue sticks to make your glue gun work. You will also be needing any type of light that works, like mine. It won't turn off. Oh, there you go. So, the first step is we will be tipping over our cup. And we will, I mean first, we will have to cut all of the spoons like this. As you can see, I already made a sample one. And we can stick that on later. Let's just cut all of our spoons first. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video first because this is gonna take a while. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Great. It needs to be looking like this. And now, we're gonna put hot glue. Oh my god, I'm just kidding. It's my first time using this. Okay, so we're gonna put hot glue. Oh my god, stretch. Okay, and now, we're gonna be putting one of our spoons right over here. Hold on. Next, we do the same thing. There. And now, we put the second spoon Hold on. And then we put one inside to make it stick even better. There. Or maybe you can just put put it like three. Ow, 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 ow. That. Okay, next. On, on your last one, you can't do the thing on the top anymore. So, you, you will have to fill in the spoon with hot glue. There you go. Gotta put a lot of glue in there. Okay. I think that's enough. And now we stick it out. We stick it on our cup. If your lamp doesn't look that good, it's okay because we, both of us, we just started. step you you don't put it over here but you put it in between the lines just hold on a second you can do the same thing over and over again there we go there that's probably about enough and then we put we put that. Hold on. Why not this stick? Okay, there. Now we take this. You also gotta put it on the top. Hold on. That was close. You gotta also put it on the top when you come to the bottom because 
you gotta stick it. Okay, there. We stick it on. Okay, so when you come down a little bit further, you have to put the glue on these parts now so that it can drastically stick. And then you put your spoon. As you can see, it's looking a lot like leaves now. It looks like a flower. Fun fact, you have to make your glues on crosses just so that it's fully glued up. You see, it's a cross. Now, we can put it like that. Okay, let's continue. Guys, that hurt. Bro, I might get a blister. Ah, ah that hurts. <laughs> Be careful when handling glue guns. They are very, extremely hot. It's my first time using a hot glue gun. And I do not have anything protecting my hands. I'm using my bare hands, like literally. I already got a blister on my... On my middle finger this is what it's supposed to look like when you are done okay okay guys so when you dry the glue make sure it's not hot if it's hot then you would burn your hands so yeah guys it's done. The finished product of our recycling lampshade leaf flower thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, so I just called it that. And as you can see, I'm, I put RGB lights on the bottom so that it is a lamp. And overall, it looks so cool. The only problem is that it's messy because of the strings of the glue. But I didn't know that it would look like this. I thought it would look, it would look worse because you know it looks it looked hard to do in my mind. But but when I actually did it, it was easy. I hope you guys also had fun making it. And now I have a new lampshade for my room. Okay. So, the lesson here today is do not throw your old things or anything and recycle them. You can use anything, like literally anything. You could use anything to make flower pots. You could even use anything to make, you know, a lampshade just like me. You could even use your own DIY scissors. But overall, never throw your things away or even plastic just you reuse your plastic so that um you know you have stuff to recycle and you have a lot of things that you recycled and it will look really cool in your house so never ever use plastic because you know it could add to the pollution and you don't want our world to be fully polluted the world being fully polluted is not good we need to save the world bye guys